on everybody welcome to episode 23 of our Watford career mode here on FIFA 20 and today we're in our new season second season and today we're going to play the community shield against Liverpool but we're also going to do a little bit in the transfer window now at the moment we got 66 million pounds to spend and yesterday toward the end we've made a bit of a decision we were talking about which one to get rid of when it comes to Shalaba or um Kapu and then in the end we decided that we could theoretically get rid of both and bring in because we have one too many in that spot with them too we got rid of both and bought in Marco Gruich or um, uh, the other player we had in there we're gonna have to look here and then I wanted to get rid of both and then because originally we also wanted a regular midfielder as well one with a little bit more athleticism more dynamicism um, so it'd be either Gruich or Samari We'd bring one of them in for Kapu or Shalaba, one of those two, and then we were looking to bring in another midfielder that had a little bit about him when it came to being a little bit athletic, being able to kind of burst into those positions and things. And these are the players I've looked at. Now we're going to have to wait for some of these to come back, um, but a little bit of maneuverability about these five here, though. I think a couple of them will be just moved, unfortunately cheek la loftus cheek wendell i believe also but these three we can be able to look at um, but we're gonna have to wait for those scout reports to come back and we're also gonna have to see if kapu and shall believe um, if one of them leaves once one of them leaves we're gonna go in for gruich or samari probably gruich i'm leaning gruich right now a player as a liverpool fan i haven't really been able to look at is Benfica coming for Kent and there's no way that's happening um, I don't want to be a bench warmer um, nobody wants to warm the bench I'm not sure what's going on with these two um, I believe I put them both on the <laughs> transfer list yesterday or last time we uh, went about this I'm not so sure why they're both in a weird mood like that. Remove from transfer list. He's on there. Add the transfer list. Shalaba. So we'll have to see. They're both unhappy. Fairly enough. But you know. But we are going to get the first Liverpool game out of the way. In the Community Shield. Uh, we've got Liverpool to start the Premier League season as well. So a lot of Liverpool type of stuff coming. As Felipe gets an offer and he can go. Um, Kent on the other hand cannot. So we're just going to have to go ahead and deal with that. Is this Shalaba? Can't guarantee you play time. He's getting a little bit happier. He's had a weird couple of days, but, you know. Um, so last year we did win the Premier League. Unfortunately, it really didn't mean too much kind of the way it happened. We were at the beginning of the game trying to get to terms with what difficulty, difficulty we had to play with. Um, it was a little bit hit and miss originally and we started off really well because we were kind of killing teams as we kind of worked our way to it um, but we found a way to get to a point where we found a good difficulty by then it was too late um, FIFA 20 shipped with this crappy system in which the big teams were playing um, backups a lot of the time and the big teams weren't doing too much so we had a huge lead by the time we got to where we wanted to get to so it's one of those things Cathcart can go I'm not gonna fuss too much um, a player who wasn't too bad last year but we've got four or five really good center backs now and it's not really worth keeping them around making them unhappy and things like that so off he goes um, the training's coming along pretty nicely for everybody. We're going to see if Della Bashiru takes that extra step this year and really kind of forces his way into the team a few times more than he did last year. Only five times last year. We'll see if we can get him going a little bit more this year. Queer can go. He can go. Dini cannot. Let's get rid of that right now. Dini is going nowhere. He is going to be on the bench or on the team until this finishes he goes nowhere but I'm waiting for a couple bits to come in for Shalaba and to come in for um, Kapu I'm also waiting for what are we waiting for the scout reports to come in on those four or five players there and hopefully we can get those two midfielders in. and I think the squad will be complete 
at that time. Um, and that's really where we want to end up. So let's see. Penuranda, another player who can go. We'll just let him go. A lot of play. We're going to have a ton of money again. Another 80 million pounds. I don't think we're going to spend it on those two midfielders, especially considering two of those ones leaving as well. Um, he can go. Pereira cannot. Ajax have put in an offer. Cheeky little bit. That's. That's a decent one, like Tadic. That's a good signing as well, but not from us, not this year. But Pereira, we talked about, he will, he'll be 30 at some point during this season. So we're going to have to think about replacing him at some point as well, even though he's such a big part of the team at the moment. Navarro is also a player who can go um, third choice right back at the moment. It's one of those things. One of those things... I'm surprised we haven't gotten anything for Shalaba or Kapuya. I really am. Volkir is gone, and there's one for Shalaba. 11 million from Valencia. Um, let's delegate this a little bit. We can probably get a little bit more. Don't want to push it, though. So let's see what comes back from Valencia, but that'll be one of them gone. So once he leaves, we can bring in Gruich. And... Uh, That'll be one signing in. The other one can go as well. The dynamic player, I'm just waiting for the scout reports to come back. We were waiting for one of these two, probably both, to leave before we bought in Gruich. Or tried to bring in Gruich, but the dynamic midfielder we want, I just want now. That's gonna he's gonna come in regardless. And here's a bid for Kapu for 9.8 million. I'm gonna let that roll. McKenney will not be going anywhere. McKenney is a great player to have around, and as you can see, a 20 million pound bid. Um, he is growing into what will be something special in our midfield eventually. Um, but we're going to have a wide variety of midfielders coming now, which is obviously where we want to be. And the scouting reports have come in, which is our one did. Um, transfer offer for Dawson, who can leave. We're going to have a ton of money, <laughs> an absurd amount of money. He's gone, he's gone. Um, we'll look at these in a little, or next month we'll take a look at those at the moment. We have a lot going on and we've got plenty of good players in the academy. So we can skip by that for the moment. Training injury. Two months. Oh, McKinney. Oh, McKinney's torn his hamstring. Kapu's gone. Um, Shalaba's about to go. Not what I really wanted to see. In terms of training injury, I wanted to get through this without an injury, but not meant to be. <sighs> not great. Transfer offer for Dini and Hughes. No thank you. Um, bigger games ahead. Um, he wants to play instead of Rojulon. Not going to happen. I'll consider it, but it's probably not going to happen. Um, we're going to get a couple of debuts today, but before we do that, we are actually going to go ahead and bring our midfielders in with the others going to leave. And then once those two leave, we bring these two in right now, and then we will be set for the new season coming. We have a couple ins, a couple outs, or a lot of outs, a couple ins. Um, so we've done pretty good for ourselves. Let's go to the transfer hub, take a look and see where we go first so um, well actually these haven't come in yet so we're not gonna actually go for those but Gruich will bring in right now let's approach to buy 15 to 23 million decent price he's had a really good year out on loan last year um, so hopefully he has a good year for us as well should he come in offer transfer fee we'll try 16 to start see how they feel about that Marco Gruich they want a 16% sell-on clause. Counter. Remove sell-on clause. Submit offer. 17.3. I'm comfortable with that. No sell-on clauses, lads. Very, very nice. And we'll hopefully bring him into the club here. Hopefully he just tells me what wages he wants. I hate when they don't tell you what wages they want. It just sets you up to fail. And then you overshoot a little bit. He only wants rotation as well, which is very, very good. Um, four-year contract. Bring him to at least 28, which is good. Ooh, disregard. And he only wants 39,000 a week. 
very comfortable with that. We're going to have a ton of money left over. Not that we're going to try and spend all of it or anything like that. It's just, it's good to have just in case something happens. And McKenny going out is one of those things that's just gone and happened. So we can actually bring Gruwich in and he can start against his old club today. Why not? Um, why not? All right, so Heinrichs. Regilon, everything looks good. This will be the starting lineup by the looks of it. Yes, yes it is. And once we get our dynamic midfielder in, we'll be really good when it comes to having a lot of good players around. A lot of players are kind of unhappy, which is a bit annoying, but it'll have to be worked on as the season goes forward. But let's jump into it. Community Shield doesn't really mean too much, but a chance at revenge at Liverpool. We won in the cup final last year and then they beat us twice after that once in the league once knocking us out of the fa cup let's see if we can start this off right we got them in a week in a really important game so a lot to come playing liverpool here but let's jump on into it community shield watford liverpool nicely done here by liverpool and they sweep forward oh it's lovely it's a great goal i dragged my center back out there i wanted to cut wijnaldum off but just a quick one too and he skips around plays it back to Firmino and an early goal for Liverpool not what we needed here not a great start here at Wembley and that's me stepping up on Wijnaldum and then he's just rolled his way through there and Firmino too powerful to finish gets a slight touch on it but can't keep it out the new goalkeeper it's 1-0 nice ball out here to Regulon on his debut nice turn and a bit of a flick there and can we get it to Hernandez we can and Hernandez is in on goal here Van Dyke stretched and Hernandez finishes it through Allison it looks like and on 20 minutes we've leveled it up here 1-1 it's a lovely little move very nicely done and our new starting striker doing the business already and last year he scored tons of goals coming off the bench for Dini and we've Finally made him the starter, and he looks to be off to a really good start here. As he finished this, oh, just past Allison's leg, just so close, but one one. Hook forward, Hernandez can do well, and he does. And is De La Feu on it? And can he beat Fabinho out here for pace? He can. And he's zipping forward here. De La Feu gets it back into a nice spot. It's a lovely take by Pereira, and Pereira. Oh, it's a great save from the feet of Allison. It's lovely football. It's a really good save. A bit straight, to be fair, from Pereira, but good football, encouraging. Very nicely done. Here's Gruwich. We've got space here. Three on two. If Pereira can keep his run up, he can. And Pereira's in here. Pereira, heavier touch than I wanted. And it's a decent save there. I wanted just a slightly lighter touch, but it couldn't meant to be. Or wasn't meant to be. As Gruwich gets the header and it goes over the bar. He'd love a goal against his former club there, but... Very close. We're making some good moves here. We just got to finish off our chances. Back into space. Decore does well. Finds him. It's a good one-two here. And it's going to come back. It's Pereira this time. And he finishes in off the post. And we lead. It's 2-1 here. In 10 minutes or so into the second half. And it's a really good start to the half from us. A couple good chances. And we finally take one. They've started well, Liverpool. Of course, getting the early goal. But since we've been... Much better, and it's lovely football here as Hernandez and Pereira giving the ball back and forth to each other, and a lovely finish here from Pereira. No chance for Allison as it goes in off the post. A great finish, and we're 2 1 up. Nicely taken away. Can we get that forward? We can. Sar's on it, and it's lovely football here, and a couple 1 2s once again. And here's Sar, and Sar, oh, it's a good save. I've a really good opportunity. I got caught looking the other way. I thought um, De La Feu was going to get off his man there, and I was just following that run. And in the end, he really didn't, or not as well as I wanted him to. And, and then the shot came, and it was a bit rushed. And not what we would have liked. It's a lovely ball forward from Fabinho right onto Salah's foot there, and he hooks it in, and it's a good block. It's going to come back to Salu. Cuts inside, and it's a good finish. Oh, God. 70 minutes now. It's 2-2. And with 20 minutes to go, 
Not what we wanted to see. It's lovely from Salah in the end. So he kind of just holds on there. And nobody steps up and he makes us pay. It's a good finish. Gets headed out. This just comes back to him and then right there. It's a good finish near post. Goalkeeper might be doing a little bit better there, but too hard. Hit it too hard, Salah, and now we're back level and it's anybody's game. Nice ball forward. We can put it away. And we're about to enter added time, and I believe this goes straight to penalties. As it Well, it should, at least. But can we get an opportunity here as Dini's running away? And Dini, can he win this? Can Dini? Oh, it's a good save. Troy Dini with the opportunity. It's a tough angle, really. Kind of always going away. And I believe this is penalties. It should be penalties. It's going to be tough. We have not had a good year on FIFA with penalties so far. As Fabinho chips it and he's gone off the bar there. Dini to take his. And Dini, oh, it's a good penalty that. A bit close to the goalkeeper, but he finds a way into the back of the net. And he's hit the bar as well, Danny Parejo. Dear Lord. De La Feu to take. Oh, he went straight. I went straight. And it's saved. Salah on it. And Salah. Oh, my God. I thought my guy wasn't going to move for a second. And Liverpool haven't made any of theirs yet. Hernandez to take. He has a smack, and it's into the back of the net. And we're 2 0 up here. And Rui could be the hero on his debut. Firmino. He goes straight. <laughs> He's hit the bloody bar. Three times Liverpool chip. Three times they hit the bar. Oh, and Rui, I would say he's the hero, but he say he got one in there. And oh, what an awful shootout, huh? Thankfully, it's just just a uh, charity game, really. But three times they went for it, Liverpool. Three times, and three times they hit the bar. Unbelievable stuff. Decore is going to be the one to lift. I feel he'd be the natural um, captain succession pretty much here after Dini Decore if he stood around long enough. We'll have to see, but he is going to lift the community shield here. And we are going to start the year off with a win over Liverpool. A poor, poor shootout, but, you know, we'll take it how it comes. A really good start to the season from us. A very good start, but the real game comes on Saturday. We've got Liverpool to start the season. I'm getting sick of seeing Liverpool as a Liverpool fan in a FIFA career mode. They are difficult, difficult, difficult to play against. Um, disappointing debut. What is this, a joke? A bit tough on him. Um, he's time to adjust. Ager. Um... A dramatic final. Proud of everybody. Good start to the season. A good start. We're going to have to work some players in as we go forward. But as you guys know, we also have the Champions League and the Cups. So we're going to have some definite rotating coming our way. All right, inbox here. Dawson Soul Transfer offer for Felivi again. Let's see if we can get him out here. Is he going to be one of those players that sits around for a really long time and doesn't go? I, I hate that. But I still, before the game, still need a couple, a couple of um, scout reports to come back on those two players. And then we can buy our final midfielder and then really be ready for the year. We'll be done buying when it comes to players. So that'll be the idea. Um, so that's where we want to be. So we're very close to being where we are. Um, where we want to be when it comes to the new season. We just need that midfielder, and then everything should be set. I've said that twice in a row now, but it is what it is, and forward we go. And I believe the scout reports have just come back, which is very good. Um, a couple transfer offers in there as well. Shalaba's gone. Offer for Pereira from Napoli. No thank you. No chance, and the scout reports have come back. And now let's go take a look, see which player we want to bring in for that dynamic midfield role. And then next episode, we'll play the Liverpool game. 
and we'll be ready to roll. So let's go down here. Okay. Um, get some Fernandez. Chamberlain. This looking one is probably gets in Fernandez. 14 and 21 million. 78 overall, only 21 years of age. Has plenty of room to grow. Has a release clause of 23 million. We're going to have a ton of money here, but we're going to get the player that we want here. This is probably the one I was looking for the most. Player from Benfica. Offer transfer fee. Let's try 15 million. I believe it's at 15 to 21. His release clause is 23. And they think it's a fair offer for Getson Fernandez, a player who's been, whose name's been touted around in the rumors a little bit with some of the bigger clubs. We can bring him into Watford here and get ourselves in a really good position. He only wants rotation, which is good. So him and McKenney can really, you know, swap in and out without anybody getting too upset now what does he want for wage he's on 10,000 a week let me go to 30 and a signing bonus of like 500,000 should do just in case should do it they want a little bit more but that I'm comfortable with I am very comfortable with that and we do have our midfielder now so let's go take a look at what the squad looks like here and we'll bring him in so let's get Foster out Fernandez in and this is what the squad looks like very nice so we're in a good spot when it comes to midfield this will be the starter for now until McKenney comes back and even then we'll see if he works his way in but up front we're in a good spot Hernandez Dini Welbeck out left Welbeck Kent can play there Barco can play there um, De La Feu behind the striker Pereira can play there Barco can play there Kena um, out right, Sar, Kent, if need be. I guess I can put Barco out there, but it's not 100% necessary at the moment. Midfield, Decore, Fernandez, um, Gruich, uh, Will Hughes, and then McKenney, who's injured at the moment, and then Bashiru, the youngster. Um, left back, Regilon, and we do have another one here, I believe, at left back. Yes, Messina, and then right back, uh, Feminia, and Heinrichs, and then Cabaselli, Sar. Betty Ashile, Ajer at center back. And then goalkeeper, of course, we've got Foster and Rui. So we're in a really, really good spot squad-wise, a really good spot. And hopefully we can really go forward and turn on a good year. Obviously, top four is where we want to be with the with the new difficulty and the way the that FIFA updated the way the table goes nowadays. So top four is where we want to be, and we'll see about how we get there of course some of these players are also going to continue to grow so are up to 78 now and everybody coming along very nicely guys but that is going to be the end of this video hope you folks have enjoyed it stay tuned for more and peace